All right, hello boys and girls, and the same is back with our Behavior Basics lesson. And today we are starting a new unit and it's on school rules. And I know that it seems silly we might focus on school rules even though we're not actually at school, but I think it's very important that we continue working on the school skills that we need because next year, hopefully we'll be back in school and these are all things that we need to try and remember. So today, we're going to talk about our cafeteria manners, and I think that these skills are definitely something that we can be practicing at home. So when you're in the kitchen and you're eating your lunch and your dinner and your breakfasts with your family, these are definitely skills you can be practicing while you're at home, okay? So let's get ready. Before we get into our story, remember... We have some rules, so let's go over our rules, okay? Oh, where'd our rules go? There they are. Okay, rule number one, mouth is quiet. Rule number two, our eyes are looking. Rule number three, my hands and feet are to myself and our bodies are still. Right? Rule number four, our ears are listening. Ears are listening. Rule number five, if I need help or I have a question, what are we gonna do? Raise our hand. Yeah. Miss Amy will be there to help you. Mom and Dad will be there to help you. Whoever's there, Miss Karen or Miss Kelly will help you. Miss Rosie or Miss um, Carol will help you. Yeah, there's lots of help, isn't there? Okay, so we're going to read our story, and then we're going to have our discussions, okay? Story, carry and manners. I walk with my class to the cafeteria at lunchtime. Or you walk with mom and dad to the kitchen. Or your brother or sister to the kitchen. When I get to the cafeteria, I will wait in line with my friends. So when we're at school, we walk to the cafeteria and then we wait in line, right? Right. When we're at home, we get it, we go to the kitchen and then we're patient while mom and dad help us get ready for lunch and cook the food or um, get it ready and get it made. And we just have to wait patiently, right? So you wait, maybe not in line, but you wait. Lunch I want to eat. So there's usually a couple choices when we're at school for lunch and you get to choose which one you want, right? You gotta pick it. I want mac and cheese. Ooh, that sounds good for lunch today, doesn't it? Maybe mom and dad will give you an option or two at home if you want something. Maybe they'll say, do you want, do you want noodles or do you want vegetables? Hmm. Miss Amy would always choose the vegetables. I love vegetables. Or they might say, do you want meatloaf? Or do you want a sandwich? Hmm. Well, then Miss Amy would say, I want a meatloaf sandwich. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So when you get to the kitchen or you get to the cafeteria, you're going to choose what you want for lunch. You put in your lunch number so that we can pay for it. At the cafeteria if you need help if I need help I can ask the cafeteria worker mm -hmm. or our pairs help us a lot too in the cafeteria don't they Miss Karen and Miss Kelly and Miss Rosie and Miss Carol we they help so much and Miss Ellie they're so helpful I sit the, at the lunch table with my friends so when we're at school we sit at the lunch table together with our friends and we eat our food right eat our food. Do we steal food off each other's plates? No. If I need help during lunch, I raise my hand and ask for help. Help. During lunch, I eat using my fork and spoon. I do not use my hands. They're dirty. Your hands are dirty. We use our forks and our spoons. 
After lunch, I wipe my face with my napkin. So you clean up your face with your napkin. When I'm done eating, I will throw out my food in the trash or your wrappers or any trash that you have. We clean up after ourselves, right? So you take your, if you're at home, you take your dishes to the sink and you throw away your napkin and any food you didn't eat, put those in the trash can, okay? And you put your dishes in the sink. I will sit and wait until I am dismissed for recess. Well, when we had our schedule at school, we would go right back to school. We would go right back to class because we had recess before lunch, didn't we? But you will sit and wait until you're dismissed for recess or tell mom and dad say that we're going to move on to another activity if you're at home um, or whatever it may be. Sometimes it can be loud in the cafeteria. There's a lot of people in a small area, huh? It gets loud. I will remain calm, sit, and follow all of the rules in the cafeteria. And Miss Amy is going to be so proud of you when we're back in school next year and we can follow all of these directions, right? Right. Okay, let's get ready for our discussion, okay? All right, here is our story with all of our pictures. And I know that it's hard to, it's kind of small, but it'll help us kind of remember what we read. So when we're doing our discussion, boys and girls, remember, if it's a yes to the answer, you put, give us a thumbs up. If it's a no, then you give it a thumbs down. Okay. So yes, no. Okay. Our first question, can you pick two lunches in the cafeteria? When you get up to the line, can you pick two lunches? Or when you're in your kitchen at home, can you pick two things to eat? Nope, we can pick up one lunch, right? We get either our macaroni and cheese or our vegetables. We get one choice, okay? Do you eat lunch in the cafeteria? When we're at school, do we eat lunch in the cafeteria? Yeah, we do. This year, they're, the kids are eating lunch at, in the classroom, but usually we're going to be in the cafeteria. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, Miss Amy's getting a little warm. So usually when we're at school, we eat in the cafeteria. So yes. When you're at home, do you eat in the living room? Sometimes I do. I don't know. Where do you eat when you're at home? Do you have a dining room that you eat at the table? That's where I like to eat too. Yeah, okay. Do you use silverware to eat? Yeah, we use silverware to eat. We don't eat with our hands. They're dirty. We use our silverware, our fork and our spoon and our, and our knives, we use the silverwares to eat, right? Remember, here's the silverware right here, fork spoon and knife. Those are what we use to eat with our food. Mm -hmm. Do you walk to the cafeteria in a line? Pretty much everywhere we go in school, we're going to walk in a line, right? If we leave the classroom for whatever reason, we're in a line. So yes, we walk to the cafeteria in a line. Okay, question number five. Can you take your friend's lunch when they're not looking? So if someone turns and they're looking over here, can you take your friend's lunch? No, just because they're not looking doesn't mean it's not theirs. That's their food. Don't steal their food, right? No, we don't do that. Now, if your dog, if you're at home and your dog takes your lunch, that's a different story. But that dog should still not have taken your lunch because it's your food, right? We don't take other people's foods. Mm -mm. We just eat our own. Okay. Question number six. Can you throw your food at the cafeteria worker? Can you throw your food at one of our lunch ladies or our paras? No, we don't throw food at all. We eat it. We pick it up with our fork and our, or our spoon and we eat it. 
okay? You don't throw it at anybody. That's just disrespectful. Yeah. Do you sit? Question number seven. Do you sit and eat lunch at a table? Do you sit and eat lunch at a table? Or do you sit and eat lunch at the, on the floor? You sit and eat lunch on a table. Yes, we sit at a table for lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Question number eight. Can you leave the cafeteria whenever you want? Can you just get up and leave whenever you want? No. No, 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 no. We go together as a group. If you have to go to the bathroom, then you ask for, you know, the toilet or you ask to go. And then Miss Amy or one of our paras will help you with that, okay? But you don't just get to get up and walk away. So no, you don't get to leave the cafeteria anytime you want. Question number nine, can you ask the cafeteria for help? Can you say help, please? Yes, you can ask for help. Yep, you raise your hand, however you want to do it. Definitely ask for help if you need it, okay? They'll be all helping. Oh, last question. Is it loud in the cafeteria? Does it get loud in the cafeteria? And it's really hard to hear? And sometimes we get a little upset because it's just too much? Yeah, it is. And if we are at school, we try really hard to remember to bring your headphones so that we can cancel some of that noise. Or we might try and ask some of the other kids to be a little bit more quiet. And some ways that we can help is we keep our mouths quiet when we're in the cafeteria. So we're not adding to the crazy loudness, right? Right. Okay, boys and girls. Well, that is cafeteria manners. And those are definitely some manners that we can continue working on at home as well while we're waiting for our food in the kitchen, okay? So, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you again soon. Bye!